Tire plug kit. Tire plug kit. <laughs> Perfect. Tire plug kit. Good. Cool. That's what I need. I'll show you the quick and easy way how to repair your tire for about less than four dollars. You go to Dollar General, first of all, and you buy your tire repair kit. This is my tire repair kit right here. Open it up. How you open up is up to you. And this is what normally comes in a repair kit. The rubber that my plugs. This hold the rubber. And this is a hole puncher. I'll clean out the hole puncher. For this purpose here, I will use several objects that probably get the screw here, here out. Here, check this out here. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and probably take a pair of pliers smooth out the end of it right here, here. and take it so flat the end of it out uh, put it through the feeder here push it real fast it's because it's going to expand Get a pair of pliers, slowly pull it through there, hold it tight, close, keep pulling it through there. And then I usually carry mine all the way to the center. It also depends on the tire you have and the bigger the hole. I like, to, I like to do this right here in the center so it double feed. I'll push all the way in and pull all the way out. Then I cut early and I'll see what I'm talking about. Now I've got this ready, this ready. I'm going to get me a razor, a knife, something. Ready to cut here. Sometimes I use this right here to pull that out. Just right here. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use the uh, needle nose, pliers, anything. Pull, twist. Uh, you can use a pair of regular pliers. Take it out. It doesn't matter how small a needle nose. Depends what object it is. My purpose here. Here, I'll be using my. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't know. Yeah, right there. Might work. I stick it underneath the E. And I can just pull it out from here. I can hit over now. Pull it out. Comes out. I clean out the hole. Twist, push, push. Hold that in there. Make sure this is ready. Twist and pull it out. Turn at the same time. Twist and pull. Pull it out of that. Twist and push it in hard. Push it in hard. Takes a little energy and muscle. Push it in hard. Push it in hard. Push it in hard. Keep pushing in. That there is in there. I make sure that the rubber that's plugging go all the way through. When I pull this out, you'll see it has a self releasing hook. Like that. But you notice this right here is open. So once you push it in, it pushes in when it open. It's so powerful and strong and tight. This why he has to open the area in it. I'll show you here. Right here. Get that angle of the camera. Right here. That's an opening right here. See the, see the opening? That's where that thing comes out when you pull it away from the tire. It stays in place, like so. That's what happened. This uh, here groove right here, uh, you can use that to clean out the object or push it in. Uh, you could also use a screwdriver. Sometimes I've used a screwdriver. These things come in different shapes, forms, and styles. 
that these two right here is the one you put the plug on to. The plug is coming in the pack. I have several packs around here. I just use them in an old one. Okay. Uh, now they clean out the hole or punch the hole all the way through. There's two different styles right here. I have it. It's several styles, but if this is not available, you could always use a regular screwdriver and a fill them. You know, like a fill up screwdriver works perfect. Uh, once that's finished right there, I would check in the ear. Feel, see no ear. A lot of ways I can do it also. Check here. I would, uh, I usually take a little bit of uh, soap detergent, or you can use anything. Some people you can use water, take a little soap detergent, and I slowly pull it around there. Now, if I see bubbles somewhere around that area there, I know that is still a bigger leak. If I have a larger leak, I, pr I can double up that material, but I don't see no leak at all. No bubbles or nothing. So that tells me one thing. That's good to go for, the, for that purpose. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to shave off a little bit of stuff right here. So you can use anything or you can leave it on but you can feel a little bump. I usually shave it off a little bit. I get it, I'll pull it back a little bit and cut it slowly. It's hard to cut now, but take it, just take your time, you're in a rush. I keep a repair kit everywhere I go. I do a lot of driving. And that's what I did just now. I just finished that problem. Now my tire is, is good to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the temperature, not temperature, but the pressure of PSI or is the uh, air quality. I'm going to use a 32 PSI for this tire here. Right now I got 22, so I'm going to pull it in. Check it again. 30. Check it again. Again, thirty-two. And that's how you plug your tire. It's not leaking. Less than four dollars. That's it.